Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Quick video today, if you have a code P0, okay, let me write it down for you. P0410 on Mercedes vehicle, guys. This is secondary air pump code. Okay, it's known as secondary air pump. And this code, guys, it's a common, it's a common problem on Mercedes vehicles. So let me show you first thing what you guys need to do. Uh, you need to make sure you open the heat guys and I'll show you where the injector pump is located on most uh, that V6 engine VA that we have in CLK E class uh, Agony models okay when you remove that uh, engine cover here okay you're going to have the injector pump uh, secondary air injection pump right here super easy to replace we'll show you guys how to remove it not complicated but don't do that yet what you need to do Go ahead and find the fuses. Okay, every vehicle will be different, of course. But let me go ahead and find find actually the fuse that corresponds to this one. Okay, so we need to we need to spend a little bit of time and see exactly which one will be. So it's on here, guys. Unfortunately, it's not in that uh, fuse box. There is a few more fuse boxes located on other uh, on other places too. So we'll go quick to the train. Okay, and see if we have anything there. Okay, I know we have one fuse box here. Okay, let me remove this one quick. Okay, this is the fuse box towards the back here. So let's see what we got here now. Okay, this is in German. My English is bad enough, I don't want to try German. Okay, so let's see. Central locking, code Z. Fuel pump, heated seat. Engine residuals, so... I don't seem to see it here as well. So it's not even there, guys. Now let me show you how hidden that thing is. On this model, it's a CLK. 320 it's a w208 mercedes you see the box where you have the diagnostic port hidden okay this one is on the left side of the engine compartment facing the vehicle we'll need to remove four uh, forward screws now with a few of screwdriver we have guys links on our website mechaniclifestyle.com how to find uh, parts and tools that we use Okay, we're removing guys. So secondary air pump now. Okay, this is the fuse for the pump. This 40 amp, usually it's a huge fuse. And this is guys the relay. Okay, right here. So that's our problem. Check the fuse, check the relay. If that doesn't fix it, all you have to do, you just need to remove and replace the pump. We'll show you how to remove it now quick. So we'll need to disconnect the wire. Press there, pull up. Okay, next we'll be using a reverse Torx. Okay, this one specifically is, uh, well, if I find it, let me see where it went, E10. Okay, this is Torx E10, and we'll remove that bolt there. Again, the links for the tools will be on our website, mechaniclifestyle.com, guys. Okay, once we do that, you'll be able to pull the bracket out, the front piece of the bracket, like that. Okay, and you'll be able to pull the pump itself okay like that perfect this is guys the pump if the fuses if the relays if everything checks out then you're unlucky and <laughs> you will probably need a new pump so thank you guys for watching please subscribe guys and see you next time